Hey, welcome back to another episode of our Fall Aerodynamics series. We're going to be talking about control surfaces today. Um, so on an aircraft there are, of course, uh, various control surfaces which allow the aircraft to maintain control and stability while in the air. And so we're going to go ahead and just dive straight in and look at some of those using a foam model here. There are four different directions which you need to travel whenever you're uh, flying a plane. So of course you have like up, you have left and right, that's called your yaw. You have your roll axis, which is around, and then you have your thrust axis, which is forward. And so, of course, your motor takes care of, for, care of the thrust for you. But in order to produce roll, an aircraft has control surfaces, which are, which are called ailerons. And so th these are these control surfaces here on the wing. And so ailerons act inversely from one another. And what that means is just when one goes up, the other one goes down, and vice versa. They go up and down. And on this aircraft in particular, the servos are hooked up the exact same way, only they are flipped, inverted from one another, and receive the exact same signal. So they move the exact same way, they're just flipped, so they'll go one way or the other way. And there are two things that happens when an aileron moves. When an aileron moves up, the airflow moving over the wing is directed upwards, which then in turn is going to create a downward torque across this side of the aircraft. But also, whenever you lift your wing up in a portion, you lose lift on that side of the wing. Proportionally on the other side, when you move, when you move your surface down, the airflow is directed downwards, but also the lift on this side of the wing increases. So the loss of lift and gain of lift on that side is going to create a rolling motion in that direction, or vice versa, in that direction. Also on the wing, you'll see what are called flaps. You'll see them on commercial airliners for sure. And so flaps are additional surfaces which only droop down and their purpose is to create additional lift and drag so that an aircraft can lose altitude while flying at the same speed and also be able to fly at slower speeds in order to land down on the ground. And occasionally you'll see control surfaces which are mixed. So you have flaps and ailerons and the, the flaps will move as ailerons but also function as flaps and those are called flap runs. In the back of the aircraft you'll see two other control surface ty surfaces typically. You have elevators and a rudder. A rudder controls the yaw axis of an airplane. And so when an airplane's flying that's not often the most important the most important uh, surface because you know you can roll an uh, airplane and you pull up and it'll turn. That's called bank and yank. But a rudder is important for getting a coordinated turn. So whenever you're in the middle of a turn you're if you give it up elevator, you increase lift on the back of the tail, which creates a moment to roll it up to an upward torque on the entire aircraft. If you're to the side, that's going to create a turn. However, if you're going just at an angle, you're going to lift up. And so if you give it a rudder, then you will be up, sideways, up, left, and sideways. And that creates what's called a coordinated turn, which means that the, set, the gravity, the forces of, that you feel in the airplane, go straight down, just like gravity. So at a perfect turn, you don't even notice you're turning. So that's the primary function of the yaw axis, is to keep turns in coordination. And then, of course, you have your elevator. If you go down with the elevator, you're going to gain lift on the tail, which in turn is going to create an, up, an upward moment on the aircraft, pushing the nose down. And vice versa, an upward elevator inclination is going to lift the nose up. And so that's how uh, elevation is controlled on an aircraft. And so this is a uh, traditional style fixed wing aircraft. There are other types that we're going to go over here shortly. So this type of wing right here is called a Versa wing, often referred to as well as just a flying wing because it is basically just a wing. It's a wing with a motor on the front or jet engines on the back if it's a bigger type of airplane. An excellent example of this airplane is um, the B-2 Stealth Bomber. So this is controlled very similarly to the paper airplane actually. So the, if you didn't watch the paper airplane video, it's one of our beginner videos. Uh, look up the video about controlling paper airplanes. And that, that goes over it as well. But we'll give a more in-depth rundown here. What happens is you only really get two control surfaces. And you have to be able to manage your uh, your pitch, your roll, and your yaw trying to use just these two control surfaces. And so 
what you can do is if you put both of these down, if you put both of these down, putting the control surface down increases the lift on that, or yeah, towards the back of the wing, it's going to essentially change the direction of that half of the wing. And what happens is if you put these both down, that's going to push the back of the wing up. So it's a little counterintuitive. By putting these down, we push the back of the wing up, and that's what pushes the nose down. So if you're flying one of these boys, and you put these down, you'll go down. Conversely, if you put them up, they won't, they won't stay like that for now, but if you imagine putting them both up, then the back of the wing is going to be tilted backwards, and that's going to go upwards. So this results in a really nice way to think about it, just really quickly. Whatever direction you put both of these control surfaces in, that's the direction the airplane's gonna go. If you put them both up, it's gonna go up. If you put them both down, it's gonna go down. And if you put them alternately, this, whichever one, whichever side of the wing has it going up, in this configuration is going to be pushed down. So the side of the wing that has this control surface up is going to get pushed down and the side of the wing that has this control surface down is going to be pushed up. And I know that sounds contrary to what we were just talking about. And if you go a little bit more into the physics and the science behind what's happening, you, you can unravel that. But for our purposes, what you can do is you can either put them both down, and that'll make you go down. You can put them both up, and that'll make you go up. And you can put them alternately and then you'll be able to get some roll in there, depending on which one goes up and which one goes down. It's really hard to control kind of the rudder motion or the yaw motion in one of these. There are a couple tricks that you can play, maybe to try to increase the drag on one side and that will kind of make you turn a little bit, but it's, it's a little tricky. Now these control surfaces, because they serve the role of both elevator and aileron at the same time, we actually call them elevons. And that's a pretty pretty common name that you'll you'll definitely hear thrown around for these type of flying wing configurations. So yeah, that's the flying wing. It's a really cool looking design, and you can get some really sleek airplanes built in this style. So that's it for this episode. We hope you guys enjoyed learning about how to control different types of airplanes. In summary, on a traditional type of airplane, we usually have control surfaces on the wings called ailerons. We've got the elevators in the back, we've got the rudder right here, and that lets you control all the different directions you might want to go. On a less popular but also a well-known configuration, the flying wing, you have two control surfaces called elevons because they are both elevators and ailerons, and they let you do most of the things that you would typically do on a conventional airplane, but it's just a little bit more complicated. So thank you for watching this episode. Be sure to watch our next episode that will be about lift, where we'll talk about why airplanes even fly in the first place. We'll see you there.